All right, hello, hello. Welcome to today's lesson. So again, um, you found me, so you should be in 4.2, and then you should see a folder that says 2.2, that's where we're at. If you're looking at your student packet, we can see that you found me. Now, I want you to go ahead and start with your D now. I do want you to fill this out, please. So go ahead and take like five minutes or so, see what you can do for your do now, and then come back when you're finished to check your answers. All right, pause me now and get started. Come back when you're done. All right, hopefully you finished. Now you're back. Um, here are the answers for this one. So solving for Y, solving the equation for X, and then here using substitution. To give you more time to look at it, um, go ahead and pause me to double check your work and see how you did. Um, I'm going to keep going, but if you need to look at these for a few more minutes, pause me um, to check out the answers. Okay, so the last couple of days we've been working on creating a system of equations um, using or in standard form from, from context. So I kind of intro this yesterday in some of the class periods, but not today, or word, so sorry. Um, I kind of intro introduced this today, uh, which is not today when you're watching this, Lord have mercy. Okay, so let's just get started before I work on it even more. Okay, so you went to the movies with your family, adult tickets cost $8, and you can get student tickets six dollars. Your family purchased eight total tickets and paid a total of fifty-eight dollars. X is adult tickets, Y is the number of student tickets. Create a system of equations and find how many adult tickets your family bought. So I am actually asking you a question now. So I'm not just asking you to create a system. I want you to create a system, but then answer the question, how many adult tickets did they buy? So let's go ahead and just start with creating that system. So again, equals, equals, we have a total of $58. We bought a total of eight tickets. So there are two starts of our equation. So I'm going to rewrite those a little smaller. Okay, eight is our number of tickets. So that's going to be our number of adult tickets plus student tickets should give us eight tickets overall. And then again, the ones that deal with money, this one was like our number of things, this one is money. So that means now we'll use those other dollar amounts. So we're going to have something X plus something Y. In this case, X is adult tickets. So we need the adult price with our X, which is eight. And Y represents student tickets. So we'll put the price of student tickets with Y, which is 6. And then now we have, again, our amount equation at top. Our number of one thing plus our number of the other equals 8. And then this is our cost of adult tickets plus our cost of student tickets equals our total cost overall. All money down here. Now, that's the first part. Uh, but again, now I say how many adult tickets your family bought. Well, let's think about this. X is our number of adult tickets. So what we want to do is we want to find what X is. We don't know that. We need to find what X is. So we're going to solve our system. So we've used substitution in the past and we've used elimination. We're going to work on substitution this week. So remember to do substitution, like this one, we need to see y equals something so we can plug that in for y. Here, we don't see that. We have an x plus y and an x plus y on the same side. So in order to substitute, we need to solve the equation for y. And the easiest one to solve for y is this one. So we're going to solve this for y by subtracting x on both sides. So again, if I subtracted x, that would cancel. So we end up with y equals 8 minus x. And now we know what y equals, so now we can substitute. So now I can say 
8 minus 6 equals y. So I can plug that in where y is. So we have 8x plus 6 times what we plugged in. And then that equals the 58. So now from here we solve for x. So again, we used substitution. We had to solve this for y by subtracting the x over. And now we can plug this in for y. And now we only have x's, so we can go ahead and solve for x. And again, once we find x, we have the answer. Because I asked how many adult tickets. And adult tickets is represented by x. So as soon as we know x, we know our answer. So from here, I have to distribute first. 6 times 8 is 48, minus 6 times x is 6x. Now we can combine like terms. Subtract 48 on both sides to get rid of the plus 48. 2x equals 10. I have 2 times x, so now we divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 5. So again, x is the number of adult tickets. So x is adult tickets, and that equals 5. So that answers our question. How many adult tickets did we buy? My family bought 5 adult tickets. Now, the cool thing with these problems is, okay, well, the other type of tickets we had were student tickets. Well, how many tickets did we have total? Your family purchased eight total tickets. So if they purchased eight tickets, five of them were adults, how many am I missing? Three. So that means three of those tickets had to be student tickets. So even though I don't ask you here, you can think about it and still figure it out. So if I ask you, or you need to pay attention to what the um, question is asking you and, and figure out what a variable that is. So again, in this case, um, it said how many adult tickets. So then when we look at the variable, that was x. So we knew once we found x, we were done. If this had said how many student tickets, student tickets is y. So then we would have to say, Okay, well, I have five adult tickets, so then have to figure out how many student tickets we have left. So you need to, need, to, need to pay attention to what it's asking you to find, and then relate that back to the variables. Am I solving x, am I solving for y, or am I solving for both? Okay, I want you to go ahead and pause me, and I want you to try this one. So create your system, and then solve it. Again, mathematically, it's going to be very similar. You're just going to be looking at different numbers. Systems will look very similar with different numbers. Steps to solve should be almost identical with different numbers. Get as far as you can. If you get stuck, come back and unpause me and see how you do. All right, so the next one. So going to the mall, the totals were $200 and then six new things. So we had X our pairs of shoes plus pairs of jeans equals 6 and then 25 per jean plus 50 per or sorry 25 per shoe plus 50 per jean equals 200 total so again that's our amount equation and then our dollar equation and then just like this one where we had to solve it for y we do the same thing here so that's actually 6 minus x and then we can plug it in if you couldn't get the system and you have it now write this down and then try to actually do the algebra and solve for x, and then come back after you've attempted that. Don't just copy it down. So if you haven't done the math yet, try plugging this in, solving for x, and then come back when you're ready. So let's go ahead and show. So here we are. We plug the 6 minus x in for y. We have our new equation. We distributed the 50 to the 6 and the x. So we have 25x plus 300 minus 50x equals 200. This one we end up getting negative. So 25 minus 50 is negative 25x plus 300 equals 200. 
minus 300 on both sides, you get a negative 100 over here on the right, and then divide, and you get 4. Well, let's double check out what this was asking us to find. This said we have x equals 4, so we need to know x or y. So it says for you to determine how many pairs of shoes, how many pairs of shoes, and let x be the shoes. So that means once we find x, that tells us how many pairs of shoes that we have. So in this case, we found x, x was 4, so we have 4 new pairs of shoes. Now, I brought home 6 new things. So let's say this asks how many jeans we bought. If I brought home 6 new things, 4 of them are shoes, how many jeans do I have? 2, because 2 plus 4 is 6. Alright, I don't think I'm going to have time to go through all of these. So let's go ahead and do, um, I want you to try three. Try three. When we're finished with this, you're going to need to ask me when you're done. So you're going to try three on your own. I'll do number four. And you're going to need to do five and six on your own. So I do three and you do three. Okay, so let's look at number four. You are working two jobs. I'm going to actually do this. Okay, you're working two jobs to help your family with bills. You want to make a total of 240, but can only work 18 hours a week. So, there's our two totals, 240, and then 18 hours. Your job at Burger King pays you 12, and your Construction job pays you 15, X is your hours at Burger King, Y is your hours at construction. So again, 18 is that like amount thing. So that's our number of hours at Burger King, number of hours at construction should be 18 hours overall. And then that means the 240 is our cash. So that means that should have the other cash with it. So we get 12 an hour at Burger King and 15 an hour at construction. So we're gonna say 12X plus 15Y. Again, make sure you line up the right, the right money amount with the right job. X is Burger King, so we need our um, salary at Burger King for that, okay? So now, same thing, we'll go ahead and solve for y by minusing that x over. And we get y equals 18 minus x. And now we'll do our lovely substitution. That is what y equals, so we're going to plug it in for y. I have to speed up so I don't run out of time. Okay, and now let's go ahead and solve for x. So start with your distributing. Go ahead and use calculators. That is 270 and 15x. 12 minus 15 is negative 3x. Subtract that 270 over, and we get negative 30. Divide, and we get x equals 10. Again, we need to double check out what we were asking for. Um, how many at each job? Again, x is Burger King, so x is 10, so we would say we work 10 hours at Burger King. And then remember, we could only work 18 hours overall. So if 10 hours were spent at Burger King, how many hours were spent on construction? 8. Because 10 plus 8 is 18. So 8 hours at construction. Alright, my time is about to run out. Pause me if you need to go back and get those. You need to do 3, 5, and 6 and tell me when you're done.
Let me know if you have questions.